Even though I have an amazing life and an amazing family, I don't want anybody else to go through what we have. Spinal muscular atrophy is a rare disease, but being a carrier of SMA is not rare at all. SMA carriers are one in 50 people. I didn't get carrier screening for my OBGYN. Um, I wish I would have. After we brought her home from the hospital, she did all the typical perfect baby things. She cried a lot. She slept. We just thought we had a premature baby. And then she started to miss what milestone she should have been rolling over. She should have been trying to hold her head up on her. She hated tummy time. She started to regress. We just said, we need to go see a neurologist. When we took her, she did multiple tests on Lola for spinal muscular atrophy. She asked us if we had any family history. We told her no. We did all the Google searches, which I know you're not supposed to do, and everything was fatal. Everything you thought you were gonna have as a parent at that point was gone. She was typed um, for spinal muscular atrophy, and she was type one. We didn't know that there was treatment. We're told she has SMA, and then like 48 hours later, we're getting an injection for treatment. Had we gotten carrier screening and known before she was born, it would have been such a different outcome. We're gonna want treatment when she's born. They probably have given it to her the first couple days she was born. I mean, she was in a NICU for two weeks. She could have missed no milestones. It went from, I'm gonna coach her soccer team or her softball team or whatever it is she's into, to I'm gonna coach her how to well, roll out in her wheelchair. Maybe one day she'll walk. If we would have gotten carrier screening, we could have had ample time to prepare for treatment. We wouldn't have had to wait until she missed milestones. We could have gotten a secondary insurance. We could have gotten a five-month head start it can make a difference in somebody's life.